It makes sense that the third episode of The Simpsons focuses on Homer, because the episode previous to this was Bart the Genius, where we had a chance to get to know Bart. This one is all about Homer, and specifically his work at the power plant. And this is not actually one of my favourite episodes. I mentioned with Bart the Genius that that was one of my favourite season one episodes. Homer's Odyssey, not so much. But there's nothing wrong with it, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Though I will say, it does feel a little premature that this is going to contain spoilers, by the way, I should point that out. But it does feel a little premature that the first time we properly see Homer at work, he's threatening to quit and is actioning against his own boss. It seems very early in the game to be doing that, but I guess it feels a little hard to judge whether or not that would have felt premature at the time, because I'm Obviously, I've, like many people, I've seen a lot of other episodes of The Simpsons and I'm well aware of the dynamics within the power plant and how Homer reacts around Mr. Burns and things. It's quite odd that he almost, well, in fact, he does stand up to him so early on in the game. And yet, episodes after this, he loses that ability to stand up to his boss, for the most part. So I do think the episode came a little too early in the series, but the episode itself... It's pretty decent. Um, he actually loses his job. And I won't say kind of how he was fired or why. Um, I won't spoil everything. But he decides that uh, instead of ending everything because he doesn't no lo he no longer can provide for his family, he decides to take a different direction and um, advocate safety. Because, of course, we, we know the power plant is not the safest place in the world. So it's an interesting angle. I kind of like the fact that the episode is championing safer working environments and who knows, maybe somebody watching it may start to think about how their own business is run and whether or not they are doing things as safely as possible. I highly doubt it. I don't think many people will take this episode that seriously, but certainly it's a positive message to get across and I think it does it quite well. There are, of course, episodes further down the line where we see just how bad the power plant is at affecting the environment but for the most part with this episode at least it's a good chance for us to get to know Homer and the fact that he actually does love his family and want to provide for them and actually does want to work and that's something that we can often forget about Homer because he seems just a lazy gad about who doesn't he just who just wants to drink duff and watch whatever Homer watches on the television. So it's nice to kind of see this side of him, particularly early on. I will say, um, the scene where he was taking the boulder for a walk I thought was hilarious. They could have, you know, it's quite a tragic scene. A lot of people lose their jobs and no longer can cope. And it's a thing that is unfortunately very prevalent. I don't want to drag down the mood of this discussion, but I thought they handled it quite well and they made it funny enough. And then the fact that Homer was then able to look at the situation in a more positive light could be inspiring for some people. So there are a lot of really positive things that could come out of this as this uh, this episode, is the word I'm looking for, if you were to analyse it for a, from a more meaningful perspective. With regards to it being entertaining, I thought it was pretty decent. It is okay. I don't dislike this at all. I just don't think it's one that sticks with me too much. As I said, I think it came a little bit too early in the season. But for the most part, it's it's really good. It's directed by Wesley Archer, written, of course, by Matt Groening, James L. Brooks and Sam Simon, with the usual voice cast, who we absolutely adore. Um, obviously, we get to know Mr. Burns a little bit more here. Mr. Burns in this one is voiced by Christopher Collins. And that's according to IMDb. I'm assuming that's correct, but maybe not. And... I liked it. Yeah, I don't have too much more to say about it. The animation quality is obviously quite good. I think it's got a good amount of seriousness and humour. For the third episode, not the best narrative option, but I think it certainly sets us up for the rest of the series quite well.